What's going on? You hey, who turned off the lights? Oh shit. video. Leatherface, the Texas Chase on Massacre 3, was directed by Jeff Burr, came out back in 1990, and stars Kate Hodge, William Butler, and Ken Forey. And it follows this California couple who takes a road trip through Texas, and along with a survivalist, runs into Leatherface and his cannibalistic family, and they mess stuff at nothing to survive that reign of terror. This story was easily by far one of my favorites, and I'll tell you why. The story by David J. Show was pretty interesting, though it wasn't original. It wasn't as campy as the second one. Now, I'm not trashing any of these movies. I'm just saying, the second one had more campiness to it, especially from... Bill Mosley's character, he made it just so campy that it was a little frustrating, but at the same time entertaining. You didn't really get that in this. They went straight into the point that they made it darker, eerie. The way they presented Leatherface, which is played by R.A. Mihailov, was just awesome. I think this Leatherface kind of compares closer to what the Kane Hodder version of Jason is. Because he's so menacing and he puts the fear in you more. And I really did like the way he portrayed it. The characters in this film wasn't bad, although some of them was a little stupid. But I'll get to that later. There's a guy named Tex, who's, who's played by Viggo Mortensen. Who actually went on later on to play in the Lord of the Ring franchise. And Hidalgo and A History of Violence and all those. He became pretty big there for a while after this film. And I thought that was pretty interesting. In this film, he plays like the pretty boy that the ladies, I'm sure, loved. But there's a little bit of a question mark on his sexuality because you see him later with nail polish. But he is a pretty tough character. He's really evil. I thought he played a really good antagonist. There's a guy named Alfredo, played by Tom Everett, who works at this gas station, but he's really like a uh, cleaner-upper for the family. He really doesn't have that big of a part in it. But he's a little bit of a comic relief to me. Like, there's this whole scene in the woods where he was dumping body parts and he was talking to them like they were alive. And it's like, what the heck? You can tell this guy was screwed up. I mean, no, no more than the rest of the family, but yeah, you get what I'm saying. The main girl, played by Kate Hodge, wasn't mad. She showed that she had no fear throughout most of it. You could pretty much tell who the final girl was going to be in this. But she was acting stupid at the beginning. Like when they were in the woods after they had that car crash with the survivalist with Ken Forey's character. She was yelling for the guy and in the woods while Leatherface was out there chasing him. Not a very smart move, girl. You got a psychopathic killer with a chainsaw chasing after you. Not really a good idea to uh, yell anything. I'm just saying. Ken Forey, he plays a guy named Benny. The survivalist, the guy that they hit almost on the road, the to, the couple. He played a pretty good part. He was, like I say, he's a survivalist. He was more of like the military man for this movie. It really helped the couple out a lot up to a certain point. I recognize Ken Forey from other projects. He's been in several of Rob Zombie's films. Like the remake of Halloween and The Devil's Rejects. I think he's a pretty good actor. And he played a pretty good part in this. This guy just would not die. There were several parts in this where you think he literally died. He got ran over by a truck in one and saw it in the head in another part, and he still survived. I'd really like to have this guy on my side, that's for sure. Kane Hodder, who is also best known to play another iconic role that all of us horror fans know and love, Jason Voorhees. He played Jason Voorhees in Friday's Part 7, 8, Nine, Jason X. He was actually a stunt coordinator for Mihailov's portrayal of uh, Leatherface. And I think in the movie, more towards the end, he actually fills in for him as Leatherface. You can't really tell because it's dark. And I think it's the scene where they're fighting in the swamp. Uh, Leatherface and the main girl. I'm not really sure. They did mention that he was in it in the trailer. I don't know. I just keep on seeing that scene referenced as being Kane Hodder's fill-in part. 
So I'm not really sure, but I like, all I know is that he did fill in for him at one point. And I thought that was pretty cool. Kane Hodder is like the top 10 guys I would I would pick to play crazy parts like that. I mean, look at him now. He's playing Victor Crowley, which is also another iconic, yet not as popular as Jason, but he's he's right on up there. This film was scripted to be much more gorier and violent than the final product. It had to be submitted 11 times for it not to get the X rating and for it to get the R rating that the studio wanted. Uh, let's just say back then, studios was wusses. They was wusses. <laughs> yeah, they just couldn't handle all that stuff. Not all the stuff that we have now. Now, keep in mind, this was like 30 years ago, and things change. But back then, you couldn't even show a little drop of blood without the MPAA going nuts. And I'm thinking, really? That's why people go to these? I mean, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre was banned in several states for being too bloody. There wasn't even a drop of blood in that. Okay. This movie had some problems. They fired the director. Director Jeff Byrne was actually fired before they even went into production. I tried looking into this, and I think it had something to do with conflicts with the studio and him, but they just they, they wanted to get rid of him which was stupid because later on finding out nobody else wanted to take the job so he was rehired. Nice job studio. Like I said this film out of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise is easily my favorite out of all of them. Mainly because of the way they portrayed Leatherface and they got back to the basics to me. It was like your basic everyday typical horror movie because some of it was out in the swamp well most of it was out in the swamp and in the woods come on you can't get any more horror fanatic than that this one is definitely recommended if you're a big Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan Leatherface the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 gets a B plus thank you so much guys for watching this video I really do appreciate it like subscribe get recognized share Make sure to subscribe to the Reactor Reactions Galore, which is in the link down in the description below. And also make sure to like the Repster and the Reactor on Facebook, which is also down below. What did you guys think of Leatherface and Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3? Did you like it as much as I did, or did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Peace the rip out.